the series World Class uh, Prevention uh, Patient Experience. So again, just as a reminder, um, what I'm doing is taking a, um, again, a world-class prevention patient experience, uh, something that people paid routinely about $5,000 for. Um, that was with me. I, um, I didn't like to charge a lot for this work, and we'll talk about that more in just a minute. But um, others, I mean, this was in many ways better than experiences that patients paid ten and $15,000 for. In many ways, far better. Now, it didn't include um, uh, cruise uh, accommodations or uh, spa accommodations. It's uh, basic nuts and bolts, how to prevent a heart attack and stroke and disability. But still, $5,000 is way too much. Um, people that are rich, that are wealthy, you know, they do have rights. Uh, they do deserve, in my mind, to get um, preventive services, but that's not the point. They can get those. They have the money. The bigger point is um, everybody else, the people that can't afford 5000 So what I'm doing is a series on um, basically replicating, uh, in, in many ways, that patient experience. Now, um, We'll go a little bit deeper into that. This is going to be basically a summary review of the first four, and then we'll uh, go back and get back into the experience itself in uh, video number six. But um, it's, there's been a lot of great uh, response to it. Steve Hubbard has said, look, Dr. Brewer, a great goal, and I really appreciate the videos. Would you please consider an entry-level consultation for something like $99, which would include uh, recommendation review of planned tests? Uh, we're working on it. Uh, again, please be patient. Uh, just as a reminder, you've got 500 and something videos right now that are totally free on uh, YouTube, on this channel. And I'm also developing, for those of you who want more of a, of a deeper dive, uh, more information, uh, more confidence that you understand things like uh, inflammation and insulin resistance, I'm developing courses. And the courses are not 15,000, they're not 10, they're not 5,000, they're 30 bucks, something like that. Um, we'll cover those again, mention those again a little bit later. So just as a recap, again, this is mostly a recap of some of that experience. Uh, congestive heart failure is a result of this. Dementia is a result of this. The um, covered the fact that the cardio interventional cardiologists are actually having a tiny impact on life expectancy. They've dropped it a couple of months. I mean, increased it a couple of months. Um, but it's through doing stuff like this. And is that really the way you want to extend your life? No, you want to prevent this stuff in the first place. We went into discussion about the fact that this is, um, it's not so much focused on the heart alone. It's focused on arteries. And so your problem can be anywhere you have an artery, like the brain for stroke or dementia, heart attack, heart failure with the heart, kidneys, uh, blindness is not even mentioned here, erectile dysfunctions, uh, getting a lot of, ten of attention these days, and uh, peripheral artery disease. We talk about the, um, the basic anatomy of the artery and the fact that something injures this intima, this slick lining of the artery. When it does, it starts letting... Um, uh, LDL, a specialized, especially uh, small, dense LDL through that intima, and it lodges uh, on between the intima and media layers. The media layer is the muscle layer that provides structure and strength. We showed uh, images of this actually happening, how this is the media layer, this is the intima, and then that is plaque in between. We showed how the body's taking, with uh, cardiovascular inflammation, the body is taking... Um, Friendly fire. The immune system is attacking that plaque and it makes it a hot uh, plaque or a liquid plaque. If that gets out into the bloodstream, it causes a clot. We showed, uh, again, pictures of real arteries where this has happened. This is a clot that came from uh, a, a hot plaque leaking through cracks in the intima. We talked about the difference between a large uh, clot forming a heart attack or a stroke and decades of tiny microscopic clots 
microscopically leaving the tissue looking like Swiss cheese, whether it's uh, the brain with dementia or the heart with um, heart failure or the eyes with blindness or the kidneys, etc. We talked uh, several, several times I've referred to uh, Brad Bale and Amy Donine, who again do great yeoman's work traveling the country preaching this gospel that, look, Everybody, uh, most docs focus on uh, statins for um, LDL, and it's not LDL, it's inflammation. Again, I did some training with them, used to practice with Brad. Uh, great people, uh, love a lot of what they've done. We talked many times about how docs are misdirected. It's like the only thing docs tend to know how to do is test for LDL, bad cholesterol, and do a stress test. Well, you know what? 50 years ago, docs used to help advertise for cigarettes. So sometimes docs make errors. Stress tests, uh, again, patients who have normal stress tests often die, just like this guy, Tim Russert. So we talked, about, we went again deeper into, well, what are some better tests? The CIMT, carotid intima media thickness test. So you're taking the carotid artery and you're using ultrasound to see what's going on at this level. Um, <clears throat> then we compared this, well, actually, let's go back. Uh, we talked about how the American Heart Association has also agreed that this is, uh, this is safe, non-invasive, inexpensive, valid, and reliable. We've shown some pictures of it. This is a discrete plaque here, greater than or equal to 1.3 millimeters, and we also talked about uh, the common intima media thickness uh, test. Both of these have been shown to be um, major focus points in terms of uh, predicting uh, risk way before they impact the flow. Your typical carotid ultrasound is just looking at flow. We compared this to the calcium score, coronary artery calcium score, and then we went a little bit deeper into the old Cafe to Cave study. Um, Here's the bottom line on the Cafe to Cave study. If you look, and what they saw was about 6%, 600 out of uh, 10,000 people had the disease present, but no impact, no stenosis, no impact on the flow. If you see that on, an, on a CIMT, your probability of having a heart attack or stroke over the next 10 years is 40%. Well, your typical doc uh, looking at you will use Framingham and in those cases, that doc labels high risk as 20%. So there's a group that you can pick up with CIMT that have twice the standard uh, number of high. And guess what? I was one of those people. Uh, as I've said many times, I, I was a poster boy for prevention. And I had plaque. Uh, so again, I had some work I needed to do. Uh, talking about Brad and Amy, uh, Brad and Amy were in Europe once presenting their work, and they saw this. Uh, uh, they were having um, coffee at a at a patio, and it's a place in Italy where there are a lot of pigeons on the patio, and they noticed that a a cat will link lurk around waiting to uh, pounce on a free lunch of a pigeon, and he said, "You know what?" The reality is that's very much like a cat in the gutter. It's uh, the plaque, the hot plaque waiting to jump out and cause an artery, uh, a clot. Anyhow, we went on and talked about the concept of cardiovascular inflammation. It's not new. It was uh, first published, uh, let alone discussed. It was published by Virchow 157 years ago at uh, Charité Hospital. I've covered uh, Charité and Virchow and some other videos. Just a few years ago, um, there were uh, some docs. This, this is a couple of uh, uh, other um, uh, articles which talk about it. Uh, one of the big articles and one of the big authors in this area is Paul Ridker. Uh, he's published several times in that area, too. So we know that cardiovascular inflammation is a big deal. If you start thinking about that, then, it again, this is another one from, uh, another image from Brad and Amy. Uh, you start realizing that the, the role of a um, 
of a, uh, a provider in terms of helping you prevent heart attack, stroke, dementia, blindness, kidney disease, uh, has more to do with helping you assess fire in your arteries and your ability to calm down that fire. So this is where we start to catch up to video number six. We'll start talking again about uh, inflammation. Again, if you made it this far, thank you very much for your interest. Thanks, and if you hit that uh, subscribe or like button, it makes a big difference. Um, an even bigger difference happens when you share. You can share on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. When you do that, it makes a big difference in terms of the algorithm. It sends um, this to other people realizing that humans think this is interesting information and helpful. Um, thank you again.